hey hey what's up everybody i'm back indoors welcome back to the indoor side of ring eye studio and today i come to you with maze farm road from Pravada cigar club this one is not like the last one i've already been into it so my, my bad y'all but this one is different from the last one so the last one i got was uh four unbanded cigars and um these four actually have bands on them all right all right all right so what we have here is four different paul stulak blends of cigars let me show these to you guys Oh, let me get my hand out the way. There we go. So y'all can get a good good view of that. All right. So that's what we have. I'm interested in trying this. Out. I've been actually liking uh, Lanceros here lately. I don't know why. A couple of people I know say that that's their favorite uh, Vitola of cigars. <clears throat> but as usual, it comes with the notes and everything. And this one actually has quite a bit of detail on uh on uh the farm that these all came from so number one is the red screaming sun six by 52 and the other one is the other one. okay so that's the longer one okay right here is like i said it's from the farm cabacalera palma and this is called the Red Screaming Sun. The taste of notes is bacon spices, black pepper, cream, and coffee. And it is best to be smoked in the evening or afternoon. This next one is from the same farm, Tabacalera Palma. This is called the White Blinding Light, 5x54. The tasting notes are dark chocolate, dry wood, red pepper, and espresso. They say this is a good morning stick. I'm going to have to try this out tomorrow with my Cuban coffee, my Cuban espresso. This one is the another uh, red screaming sun. The tasting notes are the, uh, 5 by 54 my apologies. Uh, the tasting notes are dark chocolate, black pepper, espresso, and cream. And they say it's good to smoke this in the evening. I'm going to have to give this a try tomorrow evening. <laughs> and last but not least, the White Blinding Light Lancero, 7x38. That looks like a long, good smoke there. Tasting notes on this one is black pepper, milk chocolate, dried herbs cedar and cocoa and they say it's best to smoke this in the afternoon i'm probably gonna end up smoking all four of these by the end of the week <laughs> ah, brian you did it again boy you did it again all right my bad let me put these back in here Today I smoked the um, the number three from the uh, last month's Farm Road, and it was a solid cigar. I give it a a seven, but it went to a straight zero when I got to the last third because I kept getting this heavy ammonia taste in my mouth while I was smoking, and I had probably about about this much left. And I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. It, it just completely changed from, you know, what I wanted, it, what, from what it was. It was just, it was an amazing cigar. You know, it was pretty deep, pretty damn good. But that damn ammonia got to me and I just, I mm -mm, mm -mm, didn't like it at all. But I did get another order, a personal order. This is, this, these are just cigars that I had bought from, um, from Provider Cigar Club. And uh, I'll be back in one minute to tell you about those. 
Um, let me say, give it, give it a few minutes. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. And so for this part, I want to show you some things that I bought on their website, on the uh, provider website. So when I signed up and I finally was able to get into the monthly subscription, I started to peruse the website. <laughs> And uh, they have uh, under under shop, they have an option called Rare, which is where I got the half cookie from. And so, you know, if you check my, you know, a, a one or two videos back, you'll see my review on the uh, on the half cookie. And so I clearly went nuts because everything is rare. So let me show you a little bit of what I got. So as you know, I bought the cookie and it was fire. So I went out and I got three more, three more half cookies. I'm gonna let these bad boys rest for a while. I think uh, my birthday is next month. So I'm going to, I'm going out of town. I, originally I was supposed to go to Mexico, but that didn't quite work out, but I will be stateside. And so, uh, yeah, I'm going to probably smoke the majority of these next month. And so I also got what they call the LMAO, which has my man Elmo on it. Another 5 by 50 great stick from what I hear and I know I've said before that I don't like to buy sight unseen but Pravada Cigar Club is very reputable very well known by a lot of people in the in the cigar world and um, you know reading reviews and whatnot people said that they have never been stirred wrong with their with the picks that they have with the cigars that they have and so I went ahead and got the uh, LMAO. Now these two, these are called fake Cubans. A lot of you may know, especially if you are a subscriber and you're a personal friend of mine, I have more Cuban cigars than I have regular cigars. But these were called fake Cubans and I read the reviews and a lot of people, went, like, I think it was maybe 14, 15 comments and all of them gave four and five stars. It was nothing below a four. If, matter of fact, there was one, but it was a issue with, um, I think it was like uh, the, the, the box that it, that it came in was damaged by whoever shipped it, which was probably USPS. And so it ended up damaging the cigar, but the guys over at Provada Cigar Club went ahead and reshipped them new packages and all that. And, they, and it's in the comment, in the uh, reviews, you'll see where Provada um, responded back to them. And then last but not least, I got a total of seven cigars, uh, eight cigars. Wait, was it eight? It was three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, eight. So. This one right here is called, uh, I can't remember the name of it and I don't have my uh, computer out right now, but it's a Provada exclusive. It's called the Charger. It's a Lancero. So this is the one that they have the uh, giveaway going on. They're giving away a 2020 Dodge Charger. And what you have to do is have the longest ash smoking this and whoever has the longest ash will win the car it also comes with a ruler that'll help you you know gauge you know how much you actually you know the length of your ash and so i don't, I don't know why i only got one i think i'm going to order you know what because it came cigar and ruler combo for 18 bucks yes i bought the ruler and the little stand that comes with it and so, uh, yeah, this, you know, whoever has the longest ash 
will win the Charger. And I think that the drawing is going to be in December, I believe. Sometime in December. So, got my roller. I'm going to smoke it because I know I'm pretty much going to enjoy it. And you know, I watched another one of their re videos since they um, came out that people are focusing on the, the competition and not enjoying the cigar. So I'm going to jump online when I finish this video and order me two more because I believe I'm going to just smoke that one. I mean, if I can get a good long ash on it, I've, st I've looked online. I've seen people with uh, three and a half and four inch ashes. And if you are a Lancero lover, you know that is hard to do hard especially if you're a big guy like me you tend to be a little heavy-handed and so you know when we're trying to when you're aiming to get the ash is one thing but when you're just smoking and chilling you know you flick off ash or you know you tap it and you know whatever the case may be but um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and enter the contest like i said i'm gonna jump online when i finish this video and probably order me like two more and uh you know see see what i can do but i plan to smoke this first one and just enjoy it. I plan to smoke this first one and just enjoy it. But shout out to Brian and all the guys over at Provada Cigar Club. You guys are great. I'm so thankful and glad that you guys opened up the uh, the uh, the club again. And I was able to get in there and, um, you know, become a new subscriber. Uh, it won't start until June. I'm okay with that. Even though if you go look at their videos, there may... Um, unboxing was pretty dope they actually do an unboxing on on their youtube page so you know check out provider cigar club you know you'll find out a lot of good information about them and you know the things they're doing over there they got a lot of good stuff going on man a lot of good stuff and i'm just thankful that i'm now part of it uh, i'm just well, i just finished off the last of my the Floyd 10 this is the last of it um don't forget to hit that subscribe button somewhere over here um tell a friend to tell a friend to that friend's friend to tell a friend subscribe like comment share um leave especially leave comments man because if you go to uh any of my videos anybody who comments i always interact with you i treat it just like any old social media post i'm not one of those people that's going to be all you know, bougie, and you comment, I'm not going to say nothing, like, you know, I know I'm just a small, a small YouTube page right now, and I plan to stay that way, because interacting with you guys will benefit me, you know, in the long run, you know, I'm very personable, I'm very easygoing, approachable, whatever the case may be, I'm just a regular guy, like, you know, regular guys like you guys and gals, so, you know, cheers to, you know, the good life. Ah, that Pete, 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 Pete gotta love it i introduced uh one of my partners to this over the weekend and uh he didn't really care too much for it i told him that it tastes like a mermaid fart uh before he took a sip and he was just he was thrown off by that he didn't get it but when he smelled it and took a sip he was like okay i kind of understand what you mean by that but it was funny to me i just i love it i love lagavolins lafroy 10s my scotch period gotta love it pd scotch man our bag uh ugadale our bag man all of that man i love it. all all of it but again follow me on all social media well on well, all social media follow me on instagram and um twitter at toke underscore master that's t-o-k-e underscore m-a-s-t-a i would drop a link for the anthem, the cigar anthem. And, um, you know, holla at me. You know, I'm always around. I ain't going nowhere. I'm chilling. I love making these videos. And not, like I say all the time, it's all freestyle. I just know what I want to do. Like, I wanted to talk about these, this delivery that I got today. And I will post a picture of the box that this came in. That box was beat to shit, man. I almost thought that the damn cigars was going to be messed up, man. <laughs> that, that box was beat. I'm going to show you a picture of it when I'm done, when I'm done. But <laughs> that shit was crazy. I ain't never had a package get delivered by USPS and look like this, man. Never in my life. But anyway, all is well. My cigars were fine. I'm going to let these bad boys sit. And I'm going to um, 
probably fire them up around my birthday because uh, I'm going to be getting it in for that whole week. And, um, you know, then we're going out of town. You know, the boys get the roll. I can't wait. Oh, that's some good stuff. I'm over here dropping stuff. Yeah, that's some good stuff. But again, tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell that friend's friend to tell another friend. Support the team. You know, we all we got at the end of the day. You know, people who don't smoke cigars don't really understand why we smoke. And it's kind of hard to tell a non-smoker why we smoke. You could tell them all day about the, the relaxation and, you know, how you got to slow yourself down. And, you know, you got to really take your time to really get a cigar and, you know, sit back and enjoy it. They ain't going to never get it. So, you know, leave it at that. So you guys enjoy your Monday. Well, it's about 11.15 Eastern time right now. So I'm about to edit this, get it up and running. And I will holler at you guys on the next one. Uh, do I have anything else I want to say? Nah, I don't think that's it. You know, just peace and blessings to everybody. You know, summer's coming, spring is here. Some good times coming. And we all ready to let loose. We've been shut down for almost, almost a year and a half now. So, cheers to everybody, and I'm gone. Peace.